Alrighty, live shot this morning. A beautiful start to this Thursday morning. It's a pirate's life. R. What's the show rated? R. No, it's not. It's <laughs> it's uh, a youth theater production. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. The cast and crew of It's a Pirate's Life joining us this morning. Of course, you're not going to actually use the theme from Pirates of the Caribbean, but... No, I think that's copyright. It is. It is. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Let's uh, get an introduction. We'll start with uh, Ben and Abby. I'm Ben. <laughs> I'm the uh, music director. I'm Abby. I'm the stage director of the show. I'm Mary Kay, and I'm Sarah Huffington. Um, I'm Leah, and I'm Laverne. I'm Nathaniel Monkern, and I'm playing Roger Goodman. I'm Hannah Plowman, and I'm playing Parrot. <laughs> I'm Sam Rio, and I'm playing Sneak. Sneak. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining us this morning. So this is uh, Youth Theater's production this year, and it's called It's a Pirate's Life? A Pirate's Life for Me. A Pirate's Life for Me. All right. What's it about? Abby, you're the director. Tell us about okay. the production. Well, um, Mary Kay's character and Nathaniel's character, um, they're about to get married. But they, uh, Egypt, Mary Kay decides that she doesn't want to marry Nathaniel. She wants to marry a pirate. She wants a life of adventure and excitement, so she goes out and... Um, becomes a lady pirate in order to snatch the man of her dreams, who she thinks is a pirate. So in order to win her back, Nathaniel, um, his character, goes out and becomes a pirate too. <laughs> and on the way, they meet all kinds of crazy people, and um, I guess you'll have to wait and see if they get back together or not. Uh, Abby, were you excited uh, to, to learn that uh, this year's production would involve pirates? Um, yeah, who doesn't love pirates? <laughs> was this a project that was hard for you to direct? It was. Um, it's it's going to get worse, by the way. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first. It's my first year directing the youth theater, so that was a challenge in itself. Um, and when we went to do the auditions, they told us to expect thirty-five to forty kids, and we got sixty-nine. Um, and we've, wow. lost, we've lost a few along the way, but there's still a lot of kids in this production. So that's my biggest challenge probably is um, having all of these kids when it's my first time. Yeah. So, so talk about your experience, though. This is not your first time with, with a stage production. Talk about your past. Um, well, I went to Titusville High School, so I was in the shows there. And now I go to Geneva College, and I'm in the shows there. Um, as well as Titusville Summer Theater, Barrow Civic Theater. I've done some things other places, too. Um, and you directed a project for, I think yeah, it was your senior project. for my right? senior project, I directed a, a play that had about 30 kids in it, so that was a so little So you went from 30 too. to about 70. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <Yep. laughs> uh, ben Snyder's joining us. Uh, Ben's uh, no stranger to uh, to this program. Uh, whenever Mark reads the police report, usually involves Ben Snyder's name. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oh, and he's involved with somewhere. And he's involved with the productions. Uh, Tim or Tim? Oh my gosh, Ben! I just did that, didn't I? Ben, uh, tell us about uh, your uh, history with uh, theater and uh, what what got you excited about taking part in this production. Uh, well, I, uh, as you know, I've been around theater for forever because my parents are uh, on the boards for summer and winter theater, um, and so I've been around since I was their age and younger. Um, and then, likewise, I was in youth theater all the way up. So last year when I got the call um, that they were looking for a music director and they asked me if I was interested, I said, you know, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, last year I came on a little late because um, the original music director had fallen through, so I was flying by the seat of my pants that whole time. Uh, so they, <laughs> still are we still are? <laughs> yeah, they, they walked the plank, did they? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, but at least this year, you know, I was part of it from the beginning, so we were able to work together, and um, it's been a lot of fun this year. It's and really you like pirates? Yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, as Abby said, how, how could you not? Pirates, they're yeah. pretty cool. Uh, Abby, what was your favorite uh, youth theater production you took part in? Oh, or what's boy. been your favorite production, I guess, all across the board? Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't think I could pick one. Um, as far as youth theater goes, I... Um, I, I have not been, Ben's been part of this his whole life. I'm pretty much brand new. I was in Annie like many, many years ago. But um, this, this whole um, organization has really welcomed me um, as kind of an outsider. I mean, I've seen all of the productions and I've had siblings in them, but um, everyone's been very 
nice showing me how it, it's run. So and, and Ben, for you, what's been your favorite production to be a part of? Uh, well, I, I don't really compare the um, uh, youth theater to uh, other theater just because they're youth theater so much better. It's, oh yeah, and, and they're they're just different kind of shows, you know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think this is definitely the most fun I've had with a youth theater show since I was in them myself. Okay, all right. Show of hands in the back. How many have been a part of a youth theater production in the past? Everyone. All right. So, guys, were you excited to to find out that this year's show was going to be about pirates? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, well, I guess I don't know. <laughs> we're talking pirates. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, what kind of shows have you guys been involved in? We'll start over here. What kind of uh, what were some other shows you you've done? I did last year's summer theater show, which was Sleepy Hollow, and that was actually the first year I've ever been in youth theater, so, and then I've done, like, some middle school musicals, and I did the high school musical this year. Very nice. Okay. Um, I've done four years of youth theater, and I've done quite a few years of middle school theater. Okay. I've actually only been in four youth theater productions and <laughs> <laughs> that's it yes, yes sir. now I've seen you on stage and, and it looks like you've had years of experience I guess I'm just that type of guy okay <laughs> <laughs> good attitude good attitude how about you how many shows well this would be my first show with the Titusville Youth Theater, but I live in Oil City, so I did done, I did um, shows at the Barra Civic Theater with their Youth Theater since I was um, seven. Wow! You know what kind of shows uh, were you involved in at the Barrow? Well, they did um, a lot, <laughs> probably maybe like twelve or thirteen wow. of them, because they do normally two or three every year. And um, I was, I remember one year they did um, Pinocchio. Um, they did a pirate show one time, but that was a long time ago. I was only eight. <laughs> and it's nothing compared to this pirate show. <laughs> um, all right, so we got some cast members in the back. Uh, do any of you have lines together? Can we get uh, maybe a scene or something? Can we have a couple lines? Or how about, how about I'll tell you what, why don't we go down can you deliver at least one of your lines from the show in character? Should we try that? That, that would probably work more than trying yeah. to run a yeah, scene. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. We'll do that. All right, we'll start back here. And you can, you can deliver your favorite line or I mean, whatever you want to do. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll do one line from, like, me wanting to be a pirate. Okay. Um, let's cut them up and hoist them high. Yeah. Next. I don't know what line I want to do yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what line I want to do. Leah's got a big monologue. Yes, we I do. We won't make her do that one. Or maybe you should just to make sure she knows it. <laughs> of course. I always... I don't know. It's so long. It's going to be different every night, probably. Yes, yeah. it will be different. Well, you don't have to do that. Do you have just one line you can do for us? Yeah, I do. Okay. Looks like it's curtains for you, Captain Belvedere. Very nice. I don't know where I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know my favorite line. Uh, I think the one that I would... I remember the most is... <laughs> <laughs> now we can't think of it. <laughs> um. It's okay. It's radio and TV. Uh, you know, the the dead air is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do one of the ones where you're trying to be tough. Okay. Uh. uh I meet hearty. <laughs> oh, no, climb the jib. <laughs> I am hearty. Climb the jib. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. The funny thing about his character is that he uh, is kind of a little bit of a sissy. At first. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
accents. I played the parrot. My favorite line would probably be Polly Cracker, Polly Cracker, Squat, Squat. Do you do that during the whole show? Pretty much. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Sam, how about you, Evelyn? I don't know which one. Uh, <clears throat> okay, um. I'll choose uh, one when we were taking over the ship and we came back. Okay. We went this way and that way and this way and that way. Yeah, all right. My character is like a jumpy Ooh, character. Spazzy. Spazzy. Nothing like Sam. No, nothing at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so the show is when, guys? Abby, Ben? Big production? The 31st and 1st, so next Friday and Saturday. Next Friday and Saturday at uh, Colstock Auditorium. Mm -hmm. Uh, curtain goes up at what time? 7.30. 7.30. And where can folks get tickets? At the Chamber of Commerce in Titusville. Um, the Chamber's open 8.30 to 4.30. And tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for kids 12 and under. Very affordable. Mm -hmm. It's a great time for uh, family and friends to come and uh, support the youth theater next Friday and Saturday. It's hard to believe it's here already. Yes. Yeah. When did you guys uh, get started with the production? Um, I joined in about March, um, but but we uh, had auditions in May, so. And then right after school ended, you guys got started officially? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Abby, when you first got the script, I mean, it, as a director, uh, what goes through your mind? Are you trying to figure out, okay, boy, what kind of set pieces are we gonna have? I mean, what's your, what's your process going through a production? Um, yeah, uh, just kind of reading it once through to get a feel for it, and then reading it um, over and over and over again um, with thinking about different elements in the show. Um, and then I'm in my dorm room at college, like, blocking out scenes and uh, figuring things out a little bit. And then you kind of start to think of, okay, um, who do I need? I need a couple of older kids and a few younger ones, and um, thinking about how how kind of what the dynamic would be with your cast. And I um, was only imagining about 35 kids in the show. <laughs> and then, so then it became, okay, well, what if we do get 70 kids? How would we fit them in? And I'm so glad I thought of that because it actually happened. Um, and we have kids, um, there's no chorus in the show, which is amazing because there's so many kids. There's a lot of different um, groups of kids. So parents and grandparents can see their kids more featured in a couple of scenes instead of being in the background. You know, they're they're working on their characters. I mean, every kid on stage has a character that they're trying to portray, whether it's a named character or not. They're thinking of how they could be acting in the scene just like anyone else. They're not extras, really. They're just uh, supporting characters. Uh, ben, you're going to uh, school for music. Um, do you see yourself uh, continuing to uh, uh, take part in, in theater uh, activity? I mean, do you want to be a music director sometime? Would you like to be a stage director sometime? Oh, yeah, I would love that. I mean, I um, <clears throat> even shows that we've never done, I think of, you know, directing things. And I think a lot of directors who I've uh, had get kind of annoyed with me because I'm always coming up to them with ideas. Uh, and like, okay, sure, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, opening nights tonight, it's a little late to be yeah. <laughs> uh, bringing something new to the table. Uh, but no, I would love to do that someday. Um, and then I'm really hoping at Slippy Rock I can still make time to, to do it because I know as um, you know, music major, I'll be busy. But theater is really important to me. So, uh, Do you see yourself uh, sort of taking a break from onstage performances and wanting to maybe be a musical director for a show? I think I like being on stage too much. <laughs> okay, so somebody else can do that. Uh, Mark, uh, you actually spent a lot of time uh, running around the Barrow Civic Theater, and uh, you've seen a lot of uh, just really good local have, talent. Uh, I've seen a variety of uh, productions there from youth and small theater, uh, little theater, all the way to the major musical productions, and uh, uh, even uh, in Meadville as well at the Academy, and uh, have seen some of the productions then at Colstock, not all of them, but have really been amazed as... Uh, I guess I've only lived here about 11 years or so at the amount of talent that we have here in the area of, of all ages. You know, the people sing, dance, act, play musical instruments, and, you know, it's 
I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but it's always a pleasant surprise to go to a local production and be as well entertained, you know, as we are. You know, yeah. it's, it's quite a blessing. And that's great coming from Mark uh, because Mark spent years writing a, a one-man show, uh, a prequel to Cats called <laughs> called Cat. Yeah. And um, it just it was never able to pull it off. But um, uh, no, you laughed. There was a, there was a guy at my house for a while who had a big Tom cat. His name was Cat. I, I wrote it for him. <laughs> uh, now, do you guys uh, like this experience where you, you see yourselves continuing to uh, perform in theater shows over the next several years into high school and beyond? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Have you guys uh, seen any musicals that you think, oh boy, that would be a great show to be a part of? <laughs> like what? Go ahead, name a couple no, shows. I actually watched Abby perform in Shrek the Musical. That made me jealous. I wish I was in that one. <laughs> oh, you want me to go now? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I really enjoyed watching. Um, what show did you guys do for the High School Musical this year? Into the Woods. Yeah, Into the Woods. I really wish I auditioned for that one. I I'll really tell you, that was cool. I mean, yeah. the set pieces were amazing for that. I really wish I would have done that one. How about you guys? Uh, I, we, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen uh, a play down in Pittsburgh that I've really wanted to be a part of. It's called Peter and the Star Catchers. Yeah, I wish I could have been in that one. Okay. Well, like Mary Kay, I did also see Shrek the Musical, and <laughs> I wanted to be a part of that at the Bar yeah, at the Marisone Theater, and then also back in September for their Apple Fest show last year. Even though I was too young to audition for it, it was Chicago and I really liked it. That was a big performance for <laughs> yeah. them. Uh, so this is uh, just some of the cast and crew. Abby, uh, talk about some of the others that uh, folks will not see behind the scenes, the other folks who make the show possible. Um, Mr. Logan, Bill Logan, is doing our sets and he's been amazing. Like he He's a... Um, a ship person and he, uh, he everything is very historically accurate on our stage um, and I'll walk into rehearsal and there will be new set pieces that he had designed that day yesterday we walked in and there were palm trees everywhere and <laughs> it's just he's been great um, Stephanie Fullerton is doing our costumes Mary Lane's our stage manager we have the tresses in this light booth um, who else am I forgetting uh, I think we need a shout out for Sam Pritchard. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, she's actually stepping in for one of our parts that kind of fell through. So you're going to see her on stage, but she's been with us since the beginning as uh, our student director. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay, and so Ben, uh, while you're at it, uh, who are some of the other cast members? Some of the other cast members. All right, you. Come There's a lot. You don't have to get all seventy of them. All right. <laughs> I'm awful with names. I'm good with music notes. I'm okay. Awful with names. All right. So there'll be a lot of other kids on stage yeah. for this performance. Again, when is it? July 31st and August 1st. Next week, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Showtime, 7.30. Curtain goes up. Be there. Tickets are available at the chamber. Yep. At the and door. And get, the, get them at the chamber to be safe because there's a lot of kids in the show and it, it might fill up fast. So um, you can get them at the door um, as long as there's some left. <laughs> all right. So as we uh, go to break, guys, and wrap things up here this morning, can you all do a big, hearty pirate laugh? Ready? I'll count you down. Three, two, one. Uh. <laughs> nice job. Hey, guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, you can check out Youth Theater's production. It's a pirate's life for me next Friday and Saturday, 730 at Coolstock Auditorium. Final look at news coming up next. Splashing through the sandbar, talking by the campfire. It's the simple thing. In life like when and where